Hi YouTube. I didn't really think I would have to make a video like this, but seeing as what happened to me last night, I feel like I kind of need to. Hi, my name is Jordan, and to all the racist students out there, I'd just like to give you a short message. Don't be racist. I know, I know, it's a lot easier said than done, but I feel like I should explain the story really quickly so a lot of people can understand kind of why it's not smart to be racist, and not only is it not smart, but the possible outcomes that could come of it. See, the other day I forgot to walk my dog because I've been swamped with a lot of schoolwork. So around 11 o'clock at night, I took my dog out and took him for a short walk around the same little square block that I've walked him about a million times. I've lived in this area for about three years now and I know it pretty well. There's other um, complexes around, apartment complexes, and there's like a bank and two fast food restaurants, so there's definitely cameras around, okay? Cameras. Oh, and uh, this has two cameras. Just remember that. But basically what happened to me last night was I was walking my dog and I was walking him. Uh, I noticed some guys were yelling at me. And it was about five or six of them. And I'm walking my dog alone by myself at 11 o'clock at night, even though it is on a Tuesday and I just saw a police car roll by. I'm still kind of no iffy, so I turned down my music to figure out what's going, do going on. And as I turn it down, I hear these five or six grown frat daddies shouting, nigger. <laughs> They shout nigger, nigger bitch, bitch nigger, a couple other different profanities, but particularly those are their favorite ones of choice. And then it gets a little bit worse. Two or three of them start to follow me for a couple of steps. And I immediately start to get nervous. And what others would call fight or flight mode. Because I don't know exactly what it is about springtime that makes people want strange fruit. But I've been dealing with way, way, way too much racism this past semester. So because of all of it, I feel like I just need to remind people, being racist is not becoming. Being racist is not a sign of intelligence. Being racist isn't anything to be proud of. And a lot of people want to use the excuse that science made us racist. Well, you could actively decide not to be racist as well. You could decide to leave the stereotypes behind and try and get to know a person for, you know, who they actually are as a human being. But that's too much to do. And I understand living in the South, especially in Texas, that sometimes you just hope that Jim Crow rises again so that you can get back what is rightfully yours. Just to let you know, Jim Crow might not be dead, but he's on life support. And it doesn't look like he's gonna be getting any better anytime soon. I mean, even though you do have cops that can shoot kids down in the street and pizzerias that can turn around, turn away people because, you know, of their sexuality, like it matters for a pizza, but it's not gonna come back. Too many people understand how stupid and bad it is and just flat out small-minded it is to be racist. See. I just, I can't wrap my head around why me, a junior in school, is doing pretty well, A's and B's in classes, me, someone who has volunteered and tried to be a staple in my community, me, part of a great association, me, with a bright future, shouldn't be allowed to date my amazing boyfriend because I'm black and he's white. As I was told previously at a party, that black bitch shouldn't be allowed to date one of our better men. Okay. That doesn't make sense because literally the difference between you and me at this point is, well, maybe our GPAs and maybe my awesome smile, but literally it's just how tan I am and you're not. That's, that's seriously about it. It doesn't make sense to me why Someone feels like at a party I should be pushed and shoved around because I have no right being there with all these other people because I'm black. If you're gonna hate me, hate me for a good reason. Maybe because I'm better than you, I don't know. Because it takes a bigger person to walk away from hecklers. It takes a bigger person to not pop off and yell and scream. It takes a bigger person 
to hold their head high and understand that this moment could affect the rest of my life possibly. This moment might haunt me forever because cameras are a thing. So for people in the future that decide that they want to be racist and because people that are racist tend to, like I said, be small-minded, possibly homophobic or transphobic as well, just remind you, bigotry is not looked very fondly upon. Hating someone based off of their religion is not something to be proud of. Um, and it will come back to you because karma is more present now than I think she's ever been. And she's way more vengeful because you know what happens to racist bigots that decide that it's okay to go around harassing a girl in the middle of the night? They don't get jobs. You know what happens to jerks who decide that they want to be, I want to say anonymous, but it's not even anonymous, but you know what happens to jerks that decide that they want to just be hateful and spew out vileness? They get fired and they don't get jobs and sometimes they don't get houses and stuff like that. And yes, like I said previously, sometimes you have the cases like Darren Wilson who got married on the taxpayer's money and made million dollars maybe point one point five million dollars yeah sometimes you get off with that and sometimes you get the lady from the pizzeria that got like eight hundred thousand dollars but you also have to go into hiding and you can never be a normal person anymore because no one wants to be friends with someone that small no one wants to be friends with someone that's clearly an imbecile that is stuck in a 1960s way of thinking no one wants to be stuck babysitting that idiot that just can't keep their mouth shut and decide to grow up and adapt to what the world is now. So, for the racist students or racist people out there, just remember this. You calling me a nigger is not going to stop me from getting my degree. You calling me a bitch isn't going to stop me from being the boss. You crying about pretty much how much of a bamf I am and not getting the rise you want out of me, so you're gonna follow me, that's not gonna work. Because I'm bigger and I'm better than that. And a lot of other people are too. And just remember, like I said, the whole world can and will be watching you. So just try not to be racist. It's pretty easy. <laughs>